Hello friends and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video. In this video I'll be doing a full guide, complete guide, talking about everything and telling you what you need to know and what you need to build, how your wish lists go, what you summon for and how to use your resources efficiently. This uh, I did an, uh, a guide before on my previous channel. It was a starter guide. Uh, now that we are uh, progressing into the game, we know exactly what units we need to build and we know everything about the game. I'm gonna give you a brief summary about what you need to build and how to go about your account. So at the start of the game, uh, after clearing uh, chapter two to three, you're gonna get to summons and uh, you're gonna start summoning and they're gonna give you three main units or fighters to start your account with. And it's guaranteed to get either Viper, Kami, or uh, poison and all of them are good to start with until you get the major units that you want to build in the future uh, but if you want to start strong and keep a unit uh, to progress with it uh, for future and for uh, more content you have two options good really options here the three of them are amazing by the way and I suggest building the three of them later because you need them the three of them in the towers and on assist skills on on bossing on many stages but I would suggest the fastest run that you can run through is using Viper so if you get C Viper that's amazing you don't need to reroll even if you get anybody of them all of them are good they will carry you and you will uh, progress good so the best one uh, of them actually is C Viper and as you see I did the mistake on my account I didn't build her at the start and she's still sitting at SS plus for me I'm still using her she's my main carry in the fire tower even if she's not uh, at the same awakening level uh, as the rest of them so she deals AOE damage she uh, nuke back lines she's against uh, uh, very good against uh, fighters that you need to kill in the back line against bison stages and uh, she will carry you far she can carry you throughout all the content and you have Kami so Kami at the start when you get her she's an easy unit to get you to that uh, 24-ish stages uh so fast it's even faster than viper in terms of progress because she one shots anybody so she jumps starts the fight one shot the first one uh on her c3 she one shots the second one or you can on harder stages do a full combo one shot one enemy full combo one shot second enemy and so on and moving or and when you upgrade her spin kick also kills anybody uh poison one of the best characters for me in the game, and I love it so much, personally. Uh, she's my favorite character in the game. Uh, she also deals AoE, she silence, she deals incredible damage, she scales a lot, and she helps massively. And she has a cheating way of to cheat damage when she jumps back when she starts her combo. So there's no wrong about building any of this, but if you want to be efficient with your account to min max to the most you start off with c viper as a good starter again no need to reroll you're gonna get all of them at least twice at the start of the game only if you're that unlucky so uh how to start your account usually overall so resources what we're gonna talk about here is resources resources are so important gathering break stones at the start of the game mostly and e exp and of course cash so when you start you're gonna be lacking uh, so much on these especially on the breakstones and what you need to do is, is these packs the 24 hours the 8 hours and the 6 hours you can use the 2 hours if you wanna like uh, you feel hard stuck and you wanna upgrade that carry a little bit you can use a little bit of these to progress but uh, what I recommend and what I did personally on my account and this is how my account uh, when I reached that level 240 on all of my fighters then I, I, I regained all the resources and I, I blew up and I went to the same levels as everybody who paid money or who was uh, faster than me in progression and I out leveled some of them actually so I saved everything all the resources I didn't spend any 24 hours or 8 hours or 6 hours on my account nothing I didn't spend anything until I hit that 240 so resources keep them there use them in the end at 240 
if you want to use something of uh, resources to push you feel stuck uh, i know it, it you may feel like ah i need to push right now i need to use them don't use the time is two hours and this will help you and when you want to use them always try to push as much as you can because when you want to reclaim resources it's based on you where are you and your account so here uh, i get like 1 million uh, or uh, 100,000 every nine min every minute it's per minute it goes per minute it starts by per hour then per minute per day something like that but as much as you progress in the chapter as much resources that you get so after that you're going to go to the summons and of course what better way to start your account with the perfect summoning session for the perfect units so you summon after you summon 200 times which is 20 multis you're gonna unlock the wish list and with the wish list what you need to know and you need to to understand here there's two major points that you need to do in the wish list first of all because you want to finish the global awakening you need uh the b rank units to finish its global awakening and it helps you a lot it, you can with this method you can finish the global awakening in less than 14 days and this is what i did in my account the main units that you need to go about and you need to pick at the start of the game is guile abel and kami or chun li i would drop kami and go for, for chun li for a specific reason technicality issues with chun li for me i'm a big fan of kami and as you see she's maxed for me but why I would go with Chun Li because of the utility use of her and giving speed for your team, plus giving you the generate regeneration of your combo meter. So these are the best three units to go with. But of course, of course, of course, because you want to build the main lineup, and your main lineup will be cons consisting of the best units that you want to be and to progress in the team. This is I'm talking after you you get at least. Uh, late game but at the start of the game this is your only wish list for the wind first of all you can't uh, progress that far if you are checking new players and new accounts and especially now these accounts nobody is progressing unless they have these three on their main lineup on their main team you need guile he's the best unit in the game so far as free to play go he's the best unit hands down the best unit in the game uh, clearing content, tower and chapters, uh, clearing bosses stages and in crusade. I'm using Kami in crusade. She gets high numbers, high damage and stuff. You can do the same with Guile because he have the technique of stacking the combo meter and getting the buff from Beast and Give and from uh, Street Poison. So this is what you need and you put two random food on your here for, to complete the global awakening. For Thunder, of course, when you start, we're gonna have a lot of mad reuse copy. But what I would go for, for stability and for, for your account to be uh, ready for later on progress, especially in tower. And this is what I'm stuck for. Mad Ryu does nothing for me in the electric tower now. After reaching, uh, after 170, I think at 180 you'll, you'll see that. So what you need actually is, three, is poison, Honda for tanking and Elena for healing. And Honda will stun. Honda will stun. And this is a major uh, upgrade to your team because you, the only stunner that we have so far, the consistent stunner, is Bizangiv. So this is what you need to go about it. And if you want to <coughs> build something else for sustainability, you can add Fashion Blanc, uh, Normal Blanca, or Zangiv also works. And of course, we add food here. And this is how your account goes about. And some people were asking me why I don't I don't use like uh, let's say Makoto. Why can I use her as food? You can later, but first, as a starter, if you want to finish the content and clear the account, you need food to finish the global awakening. So you need the B ranks. So put B ranks here. For Flame Tower, of course, we're gonna go with three, uh, with the Sea Viper. Sea Viper is the main carry of your account. If you don't build Guile, you want to build Sea Viper. If you love her more than him and you love the gameplay for her. She does the same damage that he does, but a little bit less. With a little bit less, I'm talking 20% to 30% less than him. Okay? It's a major uh, downfall for many players, but it still clears the content and gets you where Guile gets you. Guile gets you maybe a little bit further and faster than uh, Sea Viper because his kit is perfect. It's completely perfect. So, 
what do you need to know about uh, building your account? You have also another carrier which, which is Dalsim. So you can pick between, Vi if you have Guile as a main carrier in your account and you need to pick between Dalsim and Viper, I suggest Viper. But if you want to go build Dalsim, also build him. He's a great carry. The only downfall for him is he's so squishy and he lacks speed. And that's it. So this is how you go about your account on the fire teams. Of course, the best support now, the second best support in the game or the third best support in the game. Top support is the new uh, Flameon, Yang. And Yang provides shields and healing, big sustainability, big buff. This is how you need to build your account from the start using him and using his c1 and now people are telling me what about wh if we need to build a tank for this teams for sustain and sustainability of course you can build hugo but he's one in my what i said and i still go with it with, in my opinion one of the worst units in the game but uh he have high hp so he can sustain a little bit especially if you can give him shield but the best one for me and the best one with, with prize with everybody else that I'm talking to and especially whales and people that are higher in rank in tower Dudley Dudley he, he's built on dodge he's he's basically not a tank but he tanks so you build him he dodge he counter back with a punch he may stun so that's what we're looking for the stuns so he's a perfect unit here and also put food of course I would say put these food I don't know why they appear a lot but you can choose any food that you want and you summon for them uh, this is about the wish list now for divination people are asking me what should we go for divination of course at the start of the game when you reach fi uh, chapter 15 30 uh, 15 40 and clear it you're gonna get divination and with the first summon of divination you do the first summon of divination you're gonna get bison no matter what with a single summon so you go and do the 500 like this you get one summon and it's completely guaranteed to be a bison at the start so uh, after that what you want to build is up to you i would recommend building rose i would recommend getting one copy uh of the new chun li because she helps a lot with her c1 on your second team if you're going further to the future now speaking about fast gain how did i achieve my level 123 on my account as you see, I'm level 103 on my account and I'm free to play and I missed a day. I played from the second day of the game release on this account, not the first day. But I'm still there with everybody else on the same level. How? It's the fast gain. I do the fast gain always every day. Do the fast gain, it gives you a lot of rewards. And it's whatever you think the math is, if you do did the, your entire fast gain and you got one or two at least uh, SS uh, gears it's a plus because the SS gears are for 3200 in the shop if you if you look at the shop and you see how much there where is it 3200 almost so is it worth it to do the fast gains of course do the fast gains every day but do the fast gains after you push as much as you can because it gives you uh, the rewards as for the progression that you made in the game so as much as you're further in the progress in the chapters as much as the uh, fast gain give you and it gives you ex moves it gives you a lot of xp car tokens it gives you uh, many things it gives you even uh, upgrading souls for for your uh, your items so do it at the end of the game at the end of the day when you're done with everything if we're gonna talk about guild now so the best thing is for guilds and I will say it, it's the uh, when you go for the trial of blood or path of fire of course I would recommend to do it later at the end of the day and when you want to stop playing because you're going to be leveling up all your units all their f items everything and then you go here it's not a competition it doesn't matter who ranks in the top one top two top three anybody could do better uh, the, the one that ge gets the most damage the highest damage gives rewards to all of the guild uh, and for me, why did I, I didn't do it as I'm saying at the end of the day, I did all my raids. It, you're gonna get the raid button at the later at the stages uh, when you go to the later game. Uh, at the start of the game, you only have challenge, you don't have raid. But why did I blow up all my attempts when I have raid now? Because this is the highest damage that I have could gotten in my entire game so far. So I got it like here and I want to raid. I don't want to retry and get a less damage because next day if I raid, I get the last retry that I did. So 
be be careful about this and understand it perfectly. Uh, and and before I, I forget why I was telling you to do the vast gains because you need to reach 120 on your account so fast to unlock this in the dojo this one at level 120 you're gonna get more breakstones more exp more cash and this is will be detrimental for your account now crusades do your crusade daily every time do the retries Every time, try to do the crusade and rank in the top 50. Ranking in the top 50 will give you major rewards. You can check the rewards for the top 50. Of course, anybody who ranks higher uh, in the Evil Abyss or, or here, uh, actually, anybody who ranks high in your guild in whatever uh, event or major boss that they do, they're going to give prizes to the entire guild. So ranking in the top 50 gives you these. And the more higher that you go, the more it gives you. But top 50 is the spot that you want to be at. So pay attention. How to go about it. There's a lot of guys uh, that did videos and uh, guides about how to beat every boss. I did many videos. You can go and check them out. Do them always. And the, and, and you can retry. It's uh, 50 diamonds for 5 attempts. You can't go wrong about it. And if you're stuck and you're seeing like... Oh, there's no guy, there's nobody that's telling me how to go about it. You can always check the stats of everybody. You can uh, check the, uh, how they built their uh, heroes and what they used and how, what EX they used. And you can click on the replay and go watch the replay. It's so easy. Now, the shops. Always in the shop. Buy the breakstones at the start of the game. Now, I'm on the later stage of the game. I don't need the breakstones. I'm just going to buy them because they're here. Uh, you need the, to buy the EX. Uh, let me refresh so I can show you what I'm talking about. The Shattered Crystal Ball, it's the EX move that you upgrade with. This, you will need a lot of it later in the game. I didn't know that until I reached that stage and I'm now purchasing it daily. Uh, if you have the currency, re purchase these. You'll need a lot of them to get them upgraded. The car tokens, every day, buy them. If you can afford this, buy it. Let me buy it here. That's it. Uh, I don't recommend buying this. I mean, if you want, I would recommend buy one. I, I I never buy it. I just leave it. If you see packs like this, worth it. Always buy them the 24 hours. They're worth it 100%. Guild shop, always buy the Tanuki Whirlwind. It's for 1,000 every day. Uh, at the start of my account, I refreshed it a lot to get it because it's not. you can't have it, obtain it at the start of the game. You need to unlock it. So buy it as much as you can. And for God's sake, nobody buy this shit, okay? Don't buy this shit. If it has a question mark, don't buy it. Save and buy the ones that you need. And I recommend from the start of the game, keep re-rolling to have these agility ones and get a full set of it for a legendary faction, for Fashion Blanca. You will regret it if it was there and you didn't buy it and you obtained Fashion Blanca after 28 days. You will regret it like I'm regretting it right now. Dismissal shop, I recommend buying everything whenever you can uh, from the shop if you need them. Some things you don't need, like here, I don't need Rolando, so I didn't buy him. Uh, I would recommend buying the Faith Gems. Uh, so far, I don't need them in my account. Uh, I need them, actually, but I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to check if I need to build Kyle, build this, build that. But what I recommend is buying everything whenever you can, every day, every possible time that you can buy them. 1000 is a huge but it it costs a lot so i'm thinking about buying everything and whatever i have left i can buy whatever i want from here now city shop what do i recommend you to buy of course guile fragments 100% buy them e honda fragments 100% buy them and breakstones at the start of the game for your progress buy the breakstones before anything else they will always have a, a deal on them, 40%, 20%, whatever. Uh, to progress really fast in the Global Awakening, you can buy these also. Uh, maybe E Honda later you buy him, but Guile, build him. At, at least get him to 2 stars or 3 stars because he gains a lot of boost. When you tell me what about Jury, after you finish that, go for Jury. Yeah, there's no problem. But she's is she that important as a starter for your account? No. Is it a late game unit? Yes, 100%. She's a late game unit. She's perfect in PvP. Helps you a lot in many ways. Uh, right now, my priority is buying these. 
these ones that I lack in my account because I built so many units and I need so many units at plus 30. These are what I'm going for. Also, honor shop, relax, chill on your rows, okay? Everybody, get one copy of her, perfect. After that, chill, chill, no need to rush. I don't know, some people goes on. And I read many comments on Discord. Oh, if you're not buying rows, you're stupid. No, you're stupid to say buy the most expensive unit and uh, cut yourself from the progress. If you need Elena to go to plus to SS or you're building Dalsim, go for it. It's good options. If you're building Bizang because you want to get him to that six, six cars so you can counter Bison stages, kill Bison at the start, also go for it. Uh, these what I recommend. But what I recommend mostly is saving for these. These are the main concern, the ones that you need to build. I'm not going for Rose. I got Rose on the Divination. I can get her from Divination. Why would I get her here right now? I don't need to get her here. What I need is these, so I'll always go for these and buy them no matter what the price is. So this is about chops. Uh, the limited break, of course, I'm going to talk briefly about it. At the start, you have like four units that you can put here and the others go down. So what I recommend is having six units of every faction for the tower, like six of thunder, six of fire, six of uh, wind to go for the towers because in the towers you need to put uh, four unit main units and to link two units with them to give them more stats. So six, six, six is the one uh, that sounds evil, but yeah, that's the way to go with and the most units that you use of course bison will be included in there if you're using him um, fighting spirit or fighting soul fighting heart okay the fighting heart okay so what you need to focus if you don't want to be efficient and min max as much as you can without resetting stuff because you can always hit the reset button it will cost you 300 but if you don't want to do it, always focus on your main carry. So my main carry was Cami. So I built this up and now I I transitioned into Fashion Blanca. He's my main carry. So I'm building this up. And the next carry that I'm building, and of course because Bison in the, is in the same category and I use Bison a lot, is Guile. So uh, I'm, I'm upgrading this one and as you see it has Guile here. It has Mad Buu early game, you will use him, especially for the guild. Uh, uh, the first run where he clears ad at the start unless you have guile from the start of the game then you're never gonna use uh, actually mad ryu unless sometimes situational second team third team pvp and showdown arena so every time you can do your battle royale go and do it try to rank at top 10 it has major rewards super showdown also good you can uh, go and claim uh, always these and it will give you the rose shop you can go and buy whatever there uh, always try to rank as high as you can uh, it's possible uh, final showdown it shows uh, the elite of every servers fighting together to reach rank one if you have so many rewards for everybody else and in arena of course uh, go do your fights rank whatever you want try to rank in the top 30 uh, to top top 10 will give you better rewards but uh, from uh, 10 to 20 to 30 it's always the same it's not that much detrimental uh let me show you arena rank i ranked 8 yesterday i got 80. if i ranked higher i make it 85. it's good it adds up but don't forget about it try to do it every day try to finish the dailies always and claim everything the weekly claim everything it will give you many things especially events like this event we have here uh, lucky ball and stuff like that and and now for the mad ryu uh, if you claim the dailies it will give you progress with the, his cards so don't sleep on it always do it uh, the fighting souls this one i want to speak about so every team you need one unit to have a fast chant on it to increase your uh, super combo meter uh, for for boss fights always for boss fights use on your main carry the broken formation for more crits uh, and rng for chapters for tower for progression because they have a meter actually and they have health and they can die always use marshall it, it the more they lose hp the more damage that you do this is how you go about the fighting souls uh, the global awakening guide of course as you see in the later in the game you're gonna finish everything actually you're gonna it stays there forever you can claim every time you uh, uh, you uh, progress with it you're gonna claim something 
But the main thing that you need to focus on, the big great fighters at the start of the game, this will give you a total of like 800 to 900 points, so it will put you here, and it's easy to progress. And later on, as building fighters, you're gonna get it. it it's guaranteed if you finish the big great fighters, and you slowly work with this, and within like 14 or less than 14 days, you're gonna guarantee this, and claim the box in the end, which has these. You can pick up bison, I recommend picking up bison, uh, since uh, divination doesn't have a pity. Uh, this is in general talking about how to have a perfect run having with a with a small guide I hope people uh, this helps you a lot and as you see uh, we're doing fine as free to play this is a guide for everybody if you're uh, having problem with awakening uh, especially here where is it the fighters don't do smart awaken smart awaken will take uh, stop maybe I need uh, to make a Cody, you need another Cody. So now it's eating a Cody. Don't do it. Uh, if you're paying some money and you have a lot of uh, options to get many other copies, of course, do Smart Awakening. If you're trying to min-max, don't do Smart Awaken. Uh, try to be efficient. Try to do the Awakening yourself. It doesn't take that much of a time and it's, it's more efficient. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. If you didn't, I thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace. Time to fly. Time to fly.